If your car has developed any weird odors that you haven't experienced previously before, you may want to check to see if your car is equipped with a cabin air filter. This vehicle is our Subaru XV Crosstrek, and it does have a cabin air filter, and we know it's dirty, so we're going to show you how to replace it. So you're going to have to lower your glove box. We'll begin by removing this little bar here, and what you do is you pinch the sides of it, and then slip it over, and then this guy can be tucked away. The next thing to do is on either side, there are two tabs. You'll move this to the left, and get the tab to push past it, and squeeze on the insides so that it comes down. You can then move your glove box out of the way. From here, you'll then reach inside where the cabin air filter is stored, and you'll pinch on the two tabs with both fingers. So there's actually four tabs in total. So you grab the two tabs, you'll pinch, and you'll pull. And when you pull, it'll bring out your dirty cabin air filter. So you'll take your new air filter and you're going to go ahead and examine it. You'll see that there's an up symbol on this left hand side which indicates the orientation that it goes into the vehicle. So you're going to go ahead and slip it back into its position and then just push it in. You'll hear a nice little click and it'll feel secure. Then you'll take your glove box, put your glove box, glove box back on and you'll see that you have these little tabs which locate onto the bars. Once you have them back on the bars, all you're going to do is push them back, you'll hear them clip. You'll grab your little holder here and slip it back over top of its home. And you're done.